in brightest day and darkest night no evil shall escape my sight let those that worship evil's might beware green lantern's light what's going on youtube fam it's your boy the wisest and most powerful of all nerds brian Mises. today i'll be going over the top 10 costumes of my favorite superhero that's right you guessed it the amazing spider-man I will also be doing a giveaway for subscribers of several Spider-Man comic books, including Secret Wars Issue 8, the debut of Spider-Man's black symbiotic costume. It's worth a lot of money, so stay tuned of the end of the video so you can learn how to win these prizes. I also put links in the description below for reading recommendations of each of the following Spider-Man suits. So without further ado, let's get to it. The original Spider-Man outfit. As you all know, Spider-Man is my favorite comic book superhero of all time. By no means do I hate the original Spider-Man outfit. His outfit is part of the reason why I like him. Compared to most other superheroes, the fact that he has a full body suit that is conducive to actually hiding your civilian identity was really overdue by the time Spider-Man had made his debut in comic books in the 1960s. There have been several variations of the original Spider-Man outfit, such as the first superior Spider-Man outfit, which uh, included better ocular lenses as well as fangs, and the most recent Parker Industries Spider-Man outfit, which to make a long story short, is a computerized version of the original Spider-Man outfit and also comes with multifarious forms of webbing such as electric and foam. No matter how popular a different Spider-Man outfit becomes, Marvel always decides to put Peter Parker back in his original duds. Unlike other Marvel characters such as Iron Man, Captain America, and Daredevil, many more who always receive permanent changes to their costumes, Peter Parker always ends up in the original red and blue. Scarlet Spider-Man suit. Now there have been multiple Scarlet Spider-Man suits such as the Ben Riley Spider-Man suit, his multiple forms, uh, the Mayday Parker Scarlet Spider-Man suit, but I'm talking about the version that belonged to the imperfect clone of Peter Parker which is Kane. Kane had a really awesome design with his Spider-Man outfit. It was almost completely red and a little black and just much more intimidating. It looked very much like it's a, the superior Spider-Man outfit. The suit just has a much better color scheme that should have been adopted as the main Spider-Man suit by now. Um, again, I don't really have a big problem with the original Spider-Man suit, but it's just an example of how I think that, like, you know, we should elevate beyond the original Spider-Man outfit. Spider-Gwen outfit. Spider-Gwen has one of the coolest and sexiest comic book costumes of all time. Its primary color is white, but it has a mixture of pink and black. It's also outfitted with a hoodie which makes it stand out from many of the other Spider-Man outfits. There isn't much to say about this outfit overall, it's just incredibly amazing and incredibly sexy. Which is good enough to make it on my list. Miles Morales Spider-Man Suit This outfit is my most favorite Spider-Man outfit that doesn't have any special features about it. I'm a big fan of Spider-Man costumes that have a dark color scheme as you will see throughout this list. Aside from the very first makeshift Spider-Man outfit that Miles Morales designed for himself, this is the only Spider-Man suit that Miles Morales has ever wore throughout his career. Since Miles Morales debuted in 2011, I believe, overall I, I think that the Miles outfit is going to age very well. Not to mention Miles Morales is my second favorite Spider-Man totem, just slightly behind the original Peter Parker from Earth-616. Miguel O'Hara this suit belonged to Spider-Man from the year 2099 named Miguel O'Hara. And at that time, people have the technology to change their clothing at almost any time. Miguel decided to use his outfit that he wore for Mardi Gras one year as his Spider-Man outfit. The suit itself was developed from unstable molecules that was created by Reed Richards of the Fantastic Four. This not only prevented the suit from being dirty, but also damaged from lasers and any kind of stress that could be caused by superhuman activities. It also looks much more spider-like than the original Spider-Man outfit and much more intimidating. Miguel O'Hara, Parker Industry Spider-Man 2099 outfit. What I found funny about this suit is that even though Miguel O'Hara is from the future from the year 2099, Peter Parker managed to make a technological superior Spider-Man suit and then the one that Miguel already possessed. It didn't add too many new features however, really all it gained was infrared vision and jet boots. The reason why it's on this list and ahead of the original 2099 Spider suit is because it looks more futuristic. The original 2099 Spider suit compared to the original Peter Parker Spider-Man suit looks like they could have came from the same era. 
Superior Spider-Man outfit. Now, are, there are two different versions of the Superior Spider-Man outfit. The first looks very much like the original Peter Parker outfit. Plus, the second version is much more unique. The Superior Spider-Man outfit actually belonged to Dr. Octopus, who took control of Peter Parker's body when the original Dr. Octopus uh, body was dying in the cave. The Superior Spider-Man outfit was designed to look more aggressive and suit Doc Ock's form of crime fighting. The visors in the Superior Spider-Man outfit allowed him to see at greater distances and through the lenses of his robots so that he would deploy from around the city. It would allow him to see in multiple kinds of electric magnetic light. The suit also includes mechanical talons. He also has two robotic gauntlets on each of his arms. And in true Doc Ock fashion, he has four mechanical arms, but instead of having octopus arms, they're spider legs. Spider-Man Black Symbiote Costume. This one is a fan favorite and one of the most iconic Spider-Man costumes of all time. This suit debuted in Secret Wars back in the early 1990s. The suit was actually an alien symbiotic life form that connects to a host. When it bonded with Peter Parker, however, it enhanced all of his abilities such as his strength, his agility, and his speed, plus it gave him organic webbing. It also allowed Peter Parker to change his clothes at will and even turn invisible. Eventually, the alien was trying to take over Peter Parker's body, so therefore he had to get rid of it with the help of the Fantastic Four. This is the same symbiote that then bonded with Eddie Brock to become the first Venom. Due to the popular demand, Peter Parker made an all-black costume made out of simple fabrics. It didn't have any special abilities, but most fans did prefer this one over the original Spider-Man costume, and so do I. He did eventually stop wearing it the majority of the time because it reminded Mary Jane too much of Venom, his arch nemesis. Thankfully, the good people at Marvel periodically bring this suit back every now and again. Future Foundation Spider Suits This is one of the most crisp Spider-Man outfits. Future Foundation Spider-Man suit is a self-repairing costume made from third generation unstable molecules. We talked about this earlier in the Spider-Man Tales of the 99 costume. All in all, I believe stark colors such as white and black Spider-Man costume fits Spider-Man much better than the typical red and blue. And like Spidey said, it kind of makes him look like anti-Venom. Spider-Man joined the Future Foundation shortly after he lost his spider sense. Johnny Storm aka the Human Torch was presumably dead and his dying will was for Spider-Man to join the Future Foundation. So Peter Parker filled in the fourth spot on the Fantastic Four, which is at that time was known as the Future Foundation. At that particular time, Spider-Man was a part of not only the Future Foundation, but also two different Avengers teams. The regular Avengers and also the new Avengers team that was led by Luke Cage. Spider-Man will periodically be seen wearing his Future Foundation outfit outside of the Future Foundation comic books. But if I was writing for Marvel, I would have trashed the original red and blue outfit. The Future Foundation suit is much more practical, especially since you don't have to wash it. And it just looks more like a Spider-Man costume compared to the original. Iron Spidey Suit My personal favorite Spider-Man outfit, and overall I think it offered more than any other Spider-Man outfit that was ever created. And it's quite a long list. I'm truly in love with the red and gold metallic color scheme. Iron and Spider Suit was given to Peter Parker by Tony Stark not long before the first Superhuman Civil War started. It was made out of computerized mess fabric that had symbiotic qualities similar to the Spider Man's black symbiotic costume. Or at least it could detach itself and attach to other objects. The Iron Spider Suit could resist rapid fire from machine guns depending on the caliber of the bullets. Plus, it was heat resistant. It had holographic visors that can see in different lights in the electromagnetic spectrum and a built-in air filter and oxygen tank which allows Spider-Man to survive in poisonous gas. The Iron Spider suit also allows Spider-Man to glide to a greater extent than most other Spider-Man suits. And it contained an adapting computer software which helps Spider-Man figure out ways to combat his enemies in addition to aiding his spider sense. The reason why I am so attached to the Iron and the Spider suit is because it debuted around the time where I started to take my comic book collection very seriously at the age of 15. So that wraps up my top 10 Spider-Man costumes. But before I go, let's talk about the giveaway because you too can be one of the many people who won prizes off my channel. In order to be qualified to win, you must be subscribed to my YouTube channel, share this video on any one of your social media platforms such as Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, and make sure you tag me in the post so that I know that you did. The links to all my social media pages can be found in the links in the description below. So make sure you follow me there as well. Anyway, it's your boy, Brimesis, the wisest and powerful of all nerds. 
I will see you guys soon. The top 10 Spider-Man video.